Hey everyone, Chris here and welcome back. So today I'm in with a really quick-ish, or quick as it can be video on my current SLG setup. Now if you don't know what an SLG is, it stands for Small Leather Goods. These are mainly for me, wallets. That's what I categorise SLGs as. Wallets, purses, card holders. Those are my kind of SLG categories. Um, I did a video like this back in 2019, which if you haven't saw, I will link just up here. A few pieces have disappeared from the collection. And that's just because I feel like I maybe have one too many, but I love wallets so, so much because I personally feel like I get a little bit more use out of a wallet than I would do a bag. I don't know why. Maybe maybe it's just me. Do you guys feel the same as well? But anyway, without blabbing into this too much, I will chat as I go along in the video. But let me show you what I currently have in my SLG collection. So this is where I keep all of my SLGs. Um, I'm going to predominantly focus on wallets at this moment in time, just purely because this is where everything is. Um, so I store everything in my Louis Vuitton Boit Pharmacy. I picked this up from a follower on Instagram back in January, no, February last year. So this is actually almost a year in my collection and I am... Oh, I'm just so glad that I have this. I kind of struggled on what to put in it at first because I didn't really want it to sit empty and useless. So now it is the most expensive wallet holder that I have or ever. <laughs> but if you haven't saw the unboxing video for this, I will leave this down below or just up here so you can have a quick look at it in all of its glory. But I'm not going to focus on this at all. It is what's inside that we're going to have a look at. So when you open this up, we have just this little compartment here and I will show you this later. Bar the wallet that I'm currently using, which I'll show you in a second, this is my current SLG setup from Louis Vuitton. So actually not just Louis Vuitton, also Louis Vuitton, but let's kind of pop into this and we can have a quick look, shall we? I'm not going to do this in any particular order. I'm just going to pull stuff out. So let's start right at the back and start with my six key holder in Damier Graphite. And this, fun fact, was my second ever LV piece that I ever purchased all those years ago. And I don't use it as much anymore because I feel that I get more use out of another key holder. But this is still beautiful. I did contemplate selling it, but it has my initials, so it's, it's not really worth anything. But you have your Damier Graphite front, silver, um, hardware, and yeah, again, I'm not going to go into much detail on these pieces, but that's the uh, that's the six key holder. It's really practical if you have a lot of keys. If you don't, then you might do what I do and not use it much. But that's that. So next piece is my round coin purse. Now, I can't remember when I got this. Um, yeah, I have no idea. I'm really sorry. But this is, um, I thought this piece was going to be discontinued and that's why I bought it. It's still going strong as I film this video. So this was clearly an impulse purchase, but it's great. It's really practical. I just haven't used it for for a while, but it's really nice. I love the shape of it. It is perfect for coins and you just have your brown interior down there and your standard monogram. So this is my round coin purse. Next up, um, so this isn't Louis Vuitton. This is Christian Louboutin. Uh, I got this wallet a couple of months. No, I got this wallet last year, actually. This is how long this has been. Uh, and I love the pop of colour. I just thought the colour was super interesting. It's not a white material. It's more kind of creamy at the bottom. The pastel colours were perfect for summer. So I um, that's, I think, what attracted me to it the most. And I took this off to Sydney with me as well. So this was fun. It has this beautiful spike design. Inside it is just red. Um, well, there's a penny down there. Uh, red. You have one card slot at the back, two card slots at the front, and then like a big coin compartment here. And then one also on the back as well. And that says Christian Le Boutin. So that's really interesting. And I really like this as well. Um, next item, just go. So we're at the pocket organizer section of the uh, of the trunk. This is my monogram Eclipse pocket organizer, and I'll kind of show this to you once because all the organizers are set up the same anyway. But you have just your beautiful front. You have a card slot on the back. This one we have my initial 
hot stamped in blue down there. I don't always do this, but that, I, I don't know why I thought that would look nice. I kind of regret it now, but we live and we learn. I've got three card slots at the top here. You've then also got one kind of compartment down the sides, two big card slots in the back, and then like a crisscross design here that you can house cards. So comfortably, these organizers, I can squeeze in 10, 12 cards easy without any any issues. Uh, but this is the pocket organizer, and I bought this in 2016, I believe. I can't really remember. But it's, it's still a great piece, and if anyone was ever to ask me about wallets, I would always recommend a pocket organiser over a huge multiple wallet, because I just think they're a little bit more practical. So, that's number one. Number two is the Tigerama Blue pocket organiser. I got this for my birthday back in 2019, I believe. Um, just as a little pick-me-up when... When it came out, it's really interesting. It's a really odd colour. I don't get a lot of use out of it, but when I do, it's always fun. Um, the mix of leathers in this is we have your blue monogram in the front and your tiger leather just on the back and inside it's just all very blue. Um, yeah, it's nice. Again, just because it's so loud, I, I don't really use it that much, but yeah, it's pretty. Uh, next one is... This is one of my favourite ones, and I, I don't think I'd ever, ever get rid of this because it's so, so interesting. But I picked this up from London when I went on a little shopping spree with Stanley Dragon Jr., so MJ, and also Sam from the States. I had such a fun day with them, and this was the result of one of our trips. So Damier Coastline is slightly different to Damier Azure in the sense that you have this beautiful navy um, kind of piping around the outside of it and I think, quote, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that the white is just a little bit blue, it's a little more blue than it is on Azure. Uh, but again, same kind of setup, actually exact same setup. This one, however, has a really beautiful um, leather interior, which I find is super soft. Um, yeah, it's, it's really nice and I don't know what this is. What is this? Oh, okay, this was a shoe clean receipt. Let's bin that. But yeah, that's a uh, pocket organizer number three. So next pocket organizer is one that I'm currently using and it's my most recent pickup. And I am obsessed with this organizer. This whole line, it's just, oh, it's so beautiful. It is so, so beautiful. This is the monogram tapestry pocket organizer. Yeah, it, it's, it's definitely a statement piece. If you haven't saw the unboxing, I will leave it up here, just so you can have a look at it. But this is just something else. The texture, it's fabric, anyway. But this design, again, like everything else, same layout. Inside we have a navy blue, kind of similar, if not the same. Oh, actually, yeah, I think it is the same. Um, kind of inside. This is obviously a lot newer, so you can see how this was and how this is after a little bit of use. But yeah, this is the uh, the tapestry line one, and this one has virtually no piping on the sides. Um, but yeah, so that's that one. That's the current one, and I've been using this constantly for about three weeks. So yeah, this is good. I love this. Next item, again, I don't think I've showed you this before. When I took a little break from YouTube, I did a little bit of vestia shopping. Um, and this was the consequence, and this was the outcome of one of my vestia shops. So this is from the Tribal collection, and I have another piece from that collection in here as well. And this is the card holder. Um, I love Epi leather. I think it's so beautiful. It is so durable. And this um yeah, this is, this is one of the pieces. So this collection, I think, was from 2015. Um, I think, oh, there it is there. There's the date code. Yeah, 2015, this collection was. And this came in two variations. So you had this one, and also you had a monogram one, which had some blue. I'll pop a picture here if I can find one. But when I saw this on Vestia, it was like, it was so, so cheap. It was like 40, no, 70 pounds. I think it was 70 or 80, I can't quite remember, but it was a bargain nonetheless. You have your beautiful epi leather here, which is just the kind of off-white um, 
greens leather. You've then got a nice light blue back, which has Louis Vuitton Paris. You've then got a pink backing and a little yellow kind of crown or tribal mark. And yeah, I've used this again a handful of times, but I just thought this was really nice because it complements... Oh, there it is there. So it complements this, which again, I haven't looked at this for a while. Um, oh, I forgot how nice this was. This again is a clay from the uh, Tribal collection from back in 2015. Now this isn't a this isn't a typical clay. This is an extra long clay, and I love the design. That's what drew me to this piece was the design. And funny story, this was the last one apparently in the UK, so that made it a little bit special. But you haven't seen the best part of this. So you have your monogram feature on the front, which has the little mask and the red detailing. Nothing on the back. This has silver hardware, so at that point when I bought this, I don't think Monogram had a lot of silver, if any. So this was um, this was a kind of a shift in how they created things. But inside, let's show you this. We have a silver chain, which kind of comes as standard. <clears throat> but, bam! Look at that red. Oh my god, that red is so beautiful. Um, it's it's stunning. I uh, oh, I would never ever get rid of this piece, and a few people ask constantly to buy it, but it's not something I would ever part with because it's so unique. But yeah, that's the tribal clay, and again, this is just wow. <laughs> if we compare it to a normal clay, here we have your beautiful monogram. So this is the um, the size difference. If you've got like a a standard clay, this is just a little bit longer and higher. But the clay themselves, these are, in my opinion, staples for anyone's LV collection. And at one point I did have a couple of more and I sold them. I now regret selling them and I'm on the hunt for two more. The Azure and also the Damier Eben, just to have them back in my collection. But um, again, these have a really similar layout, so I'm not going to bore you with the ins and outs of all of it, but it is basically just one little kind of dark pouch and I keep my cards so if it's if I'm nipping out to the shop quickly or if I just don't want to carry anything bulky these are great alternatives you can put your car key in, cash, cards and it's, um, it's great. So this is the monogram one I also have this in Damio Graphite which I got a couple of years back. The monogram one, I can't remember when I got this. I think I was in London at some point um, and I got this. Damier Graphite I got a few years ago because this hasn't been out all that long in this print. They never did a guy's specific print. Those are my only two standard clays that I have. So again, hunting for the others. But next one, um, this, I think I unboxed this. If I have, I'll leave a video for it here. This is something that I've wanted in my collection for so long. This is the multicolor clay in black or in noir. And I bought this from my bestie, Joe. If you don't know who he is on Instagram, he is right here. I will pop his page. Um, he was selling this on and I snapped it up because it was such a good price. But you have your gorgeous black monogram on the front and um, your multicolor, sorry, monogram on the front and the back. And this is from the Takashi Marikami collection. I think this is back in 2003. So these are how your clays would have been designed. So you had your material here and then a really thick vachette border on the, um, around the outside of it. So this is really good. I love this because it matches my white one. Um, I'm so glad that I've got both of these in my collection. This one was a gift from Paul. Um, I can't remember how long ago this was. Maybe like five years ago. Um, like five years ago ish. It's it's beautiful. I um, it was my first ever multicolor piece, and I am so stoked that I have this in my collection. So again, it's the same as the black. You've got your beautiful multicolor 
on the front, but this is the Blanc or the white version. Same in the back and inside is the same kind of calf material. The only downside with the white one is the material does stain quite a bit. Um, and this is just from having it in jeans. I think we, I think when I got it, it had a little bit of colour transfer on there. So I've naturally just added to it as I've used it. But these two together, um, this, I just can't believe I have both in my collection. So this was fun. This is really interesting. These, This is really nice to have both of them. So um, yeah, so that goes as a pair. Next one, um, this one here. Now this is an interesting one because again, I saw this on Vestia at the start of last year and picked this up when I came home from Sydney. This, I mean, if you thought the tribal clay was big, this clay <laughs> it is bigger again. So let's do like a little comparison. Um, oh wait, actually, ignore me completely. It's a little shorter and it's maybe a little bit higher than the tribal clay. But that's in comparison to the other one. Um, this, I cannot remember the name of it, but I did unbox it and I'll leave the unboxing up here as well. I love the white monogram and it's just super interesting. And I think what drew me to this is the size of it as well and the chain. Um, it's just really, really substantial. So you've got your white monogram or the Arctic, I think it was Arctic, I can't remember, um, monogram in the back. And then you just have your globe that says LV inside. We just have a standard kind of white interior, but you then also have a card slot at the back, which is super impractical. It doesn't work, but it's a great piece nonetheless. And that is that. Next up, this is, oh, two pieces. Okay, so let's start with this one. This is such a special little piece for me. Um, it's a gift that I was given from my bestie from my best friend who works at Edinburgh. She gave this to me on my 25th birthday. Yeah, 25th birthday. And this is from the Vule... <clears throat> I can't say it. <laughs> this is from that collection. And it is just this gorgeous Vachette card holder. Um, I see people sell these for like £100 online and you're just like, it's a gift. Why would you... I just wouldn't sell anything like this because it's so nice. But it is just Vachetta leather and um, it has your beautiful yellow stitching all the way around and it has a really nice kind of red glazing and this gorgeous imprint here which is this and then this beautiful imprinty design and then right at the back it says Louis Vuitton made in France. I treasure this so so much because it's such a it was such a thoughtful gift and they didn't have to give me it because I had only shopped there for like a year. But the fact they thought of me, that was just, yeah, that was nice. So thanks, Laurel. This is um, this is still here, still going strong. Next one. This is my coin card holder from the Tigerama collection from last year. I'm sure it was last year, 2020. I can't remember. Um, this one's okay. It has seen better days and I'm a little disappointed with some of the wear on it. I mean, to be fair, I did use this to death, but I've used some of my other pieces to death and it hasn't turned out like this um anyway it's only the card section where you can see the white marks but nonetheless it is a really practical card holder you have three card slots at the top a really really big compartment down there that you can fit loads in you've then got a notes section in the back so in the uk you can house a 10 pound note comfortably and inside you can get a whole bunch of stuff in there and the fact that it's neon it just makes it that little bit more fun so um yeah this is really really interesting and i love the the piping and the glazing on the sides because it's black so it's such a nice contrast i saw the new tigerama lines for the new colors for 2021 and i really like them but i am trying trying not to buy wallets this year because as you can see, I have one or two, <laughs> but this is the coin card and it's again, really practical purely because of the accordion style opening here. 
So this will expand as it gets bigger and thicker. And it, honestly, this is so deceiving because you can hold a whole load of stuff. So that's the coin cards. Next up is my passport holder. I have had a bit of a nightmare with passport holders from LV. I have had a monogram one. I have had a Damier a Ben one and I've sold them both. And now I have the monogram Eclipse. So I bought this just before I went to Sydney. I need to actually cover my passport two seconds. I um, bought this just before I went to Sydney last year. I got it as like a little treat to myself. And so far I've not had the urge to sell. And I think it's because it's black. It's so weird because my other wallets are really colourful. But I just don't want to sell this one, which is great. So you just have your monogram eclipse and exterior here. And it's the same on the back because it's one continuous piece of canvas. Inside you have four card slots. So this is a little bit of a redesign from my last one. Four card slots, a large compartment at the bottom and then two slip pockets at the back. So the, this empty? Yeah that's empty. So the aim with this, what you do is when you are putting your passport in, it sort of goes in and behind here like so and then slots down so it's just easy to kind of open and close and this page does close right over but my passport number's on the other side so I can't show you that but that's how it looks you then or I then also when I was in Sydney got this hot stamped so this is now solidified that I will never sell this because I plan when I can travel again to collect a few stamps so this is from the George Street Maison in Sydney so the main streets so the main Louis Vuitton shopping destination in Sydney and uh, yeah, it's nice. I do. I love this piece so much and I think I am 100% convinced it's because it's a it's monogram eclipse and it's just, I guess it just works easier. I mean, I guess most people have that, like they have a preference on colour that they always fall to or kind of go towards and mine is evidently monogram eclipse. Last but not least in my wallet collection, I have my absolute pride and joy my Brazza wallet in monogram titanium so I bought this for my birthday a couple of years ago um, back in 2019 I think it was and oh I am obsessed I, I had always wanted a Brazza wallet and when I saw this come out I had to have this final version of it because it's so unique like looking at it straight on the light naturally distorts this prints but the way that the material set up if you turn it slightly to the sides that's where the design comes out it kind of tricks the eye a little bit but i i really really like this and i'm sure if you can see there that's the um the kind of material it's it's so strange the material so you have this beautiful vachette trim around the sides and inside you have i haven't used this for a while because i don't really go anywhere that warrants me taking fifty-five thousand cards um but you have one two three four oh one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight oh okay so 16 card slots um, eight to each side. You then also have a pocket at the bottom here, which I just have some Joe Malone, some stuff there. Um, you then also have, kind of similar to the pocket organiser, one large compartment here. You then have two large compartments here. Another large compartment here and here. And then a zip closure as well. So there's quite a bit in this. My only downfall with the Brazza is naturally this is meant to be stuffed and used to its full potential. But when it's stuffed, it is literally like this. So that can get a little bit annoying, but otherwise they are beautiful wallets. So yeah, that's that's that there. So that's the Brazza and it has no pockets on the outside. It is just one long wallet. Just for comparison, this is a pocket organiser. So you can see, and this is a clay. So that's a pocket organiser in comparison. And then this is a clay in comparison as well. So just so you can get a really good size reference, that's um, 
that side reference. Next, I have two more things to show you. This one here, um, I just had to go and get this from the kitchen. This is my current key holder. This is my four key holder in monogram. And this is my go-to one. I love this so much. It just holds the two keys that I use every single day. And it's, yeah, it's super practical. Has some slight wear. Has some slight wear because I use it quite a lot. Otherwise, it's a handy little piece. And I mean, it's not a huge difference in size, but because I only use two keys, there's no need for me to use the six anymore. It's just, it's too big. So this is my current day-to-day -day key holder. And lastly, this isn't mine's, this is Paul's. I bought this for Paul for Christmas two years ago. Um, <laughs> I, I really do admire him because he has had the same wallet for two years, hasn't changed it. Me, however, I need options, clearly. Um, but this is his, I can't remember the name of this one, but I will pop a link to it down below. It just has your damn your graphite pattern, has three card slots on one side, another card slot on the other, and this one here just has a section for cash, which he has in there, which you can see, and it just has Louis Vuitton Paris. So this is Paul's, this is nice. I really like this design, and it also comes in monogram Macassar. So yeah, that's his, and that's his only LV piece. And you know, just, just as I'm cleaning up, look at this ridiculousness. Oh my God. And there may be something else on the way to add to this mess. Hey everyone, Future Chris here. Just a quick one, I have just wrapped up a video, an unboxing video, but I didn't know how quick this would get here. So I already filmed this SLG collection video and then this has turned up. So I have unboxed it. The link of the video shall be here. But to add to my collection of SLGs, this is my brand new to me Monogram V Brazza wallet. So this item is to go hand in hand with my Titanium Brazza, because I think I mentioned, if I haven't mentioned in this video, this Brazza wallet is beautiful. It's, a, it's easy to smudge and to mark and not clean correctly. So I wanted something more durable. Enter this. I won't go into too much detail because as I said, I've just unboxed it, but I purchased this from Vestier, which then ended up not being Vestier, but through Instagram. But if you want to hear the story, the unboxing video is linked above and below. But welcome to the collection, my Monogram V Brazza wallet. So that was my SLG collection for 2021. Yeah, as I said, I did this video back in 2019. I sold a few things on and you can watch both videos and just see what the kind of comparison is and what's gone. With that being said, I'm going to leave the video here. Um, guys, if you do have any questions about any of the pieces, I will try and leave as much information as I can below. Keep in mind, some of these pieces are limited and some are from collections and years gone by, so you probably can't buy them anymore. So if you're not already subscribed to my channel, again, it means a whole bunch if you do, please hit that subscribe button down below. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, my Instagram page is right here. It's at chrisobv. I post a whole bunch of stuff on there as well, maybe stuff that you can get a little bit more artsy with rather than a video. So if you want to follow me there, please check it out. Um, but as I said, any questions, please leave them down below and I'll reply as soon as I can. But otherwise, guys, have a great day and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye bye.